Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Earlier in the week I provided an update to Yuzu, an in-development Nintendo Switch emulator. If simply hearing the name Yuzu confuses you, make sure to go back and check out my coverage to get yourself up to date. Yuzu is one of two Switch emulators currently being worked on. In my previous coverage I highlighted the performance numbers for certain titles which boot. Amazingly, just a few days later, we already have very significant increases in performance. So jumping right into it, Cave Story ran at 1 FPS, ultimately making it unplayable. Today, it runs at full speed 60 FPS. It is, however, not rendering certain crucial elements like the character. So unless you're Rain Man, it's pretty tricky to control an invisible character. Let's follow that with Tiny Barbarian. It's gone from 4 FPS to absolute supersonic madness. The game now runs uncontrollably fast and is in desperate need of frame limiting, which is in the works. And if you're curious, no, River Tuner limiting did not work in this case. The final title I want to focus on in terms of noteworthy improvements is The Binding of Isaac. It previously ran at 14 FPS with dips. Now we're seeing up to full speed numbers of 60 FPS with drops at certain times. So what does this all mean for the end user? Well, it means that we're potentially in the most exciting time in history for emulation development. Switch emulators are progressing at such a staggering pace never seen before. Fresh builds are coming thick and fast with tens of daily changes, almost too many. Ultimately, this benefits us, the community. It gives us choice on how we want to play our personally owned Switch backups. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. All Complaining Gamer social media links are provided. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. And to stay up to date with all things Yuzu, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.